Have you ever wanted to see the famous tulips in the Netherlands, but don't really know where exactly to go to or when to visit? Then this video is for you, as I will be teaching you everything you need to know so that you can have the best possible experience when visiting. Hello everyone, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland, living in the Netherlands and welcome! In this video I will be sharing all the relevant information that you need for visiting and seeing the famous tulips and tulip fields here in the Netherlands, when to visit, where to go, what are the best places to, you know, have photo shoots and what are some hidden gems that you should know about and yeah. Basically everything that you need to know when visiting. I'm going to be sharing places that are very different from each other, everything from big gardens to small cute little cafes amongst tulips and everything in between, places that are free to visit but also places that cost a little bit more money. So yeah, I'm sure there should be something for everyone. If you're wondering my credentials <laughs> for sharing this information, I even have a tulip tattooed on me. So a little information about the tulips here in the Netherlands. It was in the 16th century when the first tulips were imported into the Netherlands from Turkey actually. And the first ever tulips in the Netherlands were planted in the botanical garden in Leiden. And this botanical garden is still to this day a very nice place to visit. So if you're ever in Leiden, I highly recommend going there. That is where it all basically started. And fast forward to today, now the Netherlands is the biggest tulip and flower exporter in the whole world, making it a very big and important part of the Dutch culture and economy. So yeah, it is a big deal here. When is the best time to visit the Netherlands to see the tulips? To be honest, it varies a little bit from year to year, depending on how warm of a spring we have. But typically, I would say the tulip season is from the middle of April until the middle of May. But if you want to play it really safe, I would say usually around the last week of April is the absolute best time when to visit. So where can you find all these tulip fields here in the Netherlands? In Dutch, the main area is called Bollenstrek and in English, the Dutch flower region. This is an area that is basically located between the cities of Leiden and Haarlem. So if you are staying in Amsterdam, for example, it is still fairly close by to visit also from there. And in this area, you can find huge fields, you can find different gardens, tulip shops, all of it. If you want to explore the whole area in itself, one of the best ways to do so is by biking around. And there are so many bike rental shops in that area as well. So yeah, you don't need to worry about finding a bike for yourself. So I highly recommend doing this. You can also go, of course, with a car. There are also different tours that will take you from one spot or the other. Or you can just use public transport for most of these places. I either take the train or the bus, depending a bit on where you are going. For a more detailed map on where exactly the flower fields are, I have linked it down in the description box. Something to keep in mind though is that a lot of the flower fields that you see, you're not actually allowed to enter. They are private property owned by the farmers. A lot of farmers' livelihood depend on these flowers and especially the flower bulbs. So if you enter the flower fields and you step on the bulbs, it can damage them and also spread disease amongst the flowers. So yeah, a lot of the flower fields, you cannot just enter just like that. It would be trespassing. So it is important to do a bit of research before to make sure where you can go and where you cannot. But good news for you, you are watching this video. So after this, you will know exactly where to go. <laughs> so no need to worry about that. Okay, let's get into the best places where to see these flowers. If you want to visit just plain fields, nothing extra, nothing special, you just want huge fields and nothing else. In that case, I recommend visiting a place called BD Slot Bulbs Flower. The farmer here doesn't mind people entering the fields and taking pictures here. And you can also buy some tulips to bring back home. So yeah, it is a great place for a photo shoot, for example. There is also another spot right next to this one called the Show Garden. 
and here you have both flower fields and more of like a garden with different kind of tulips where you can walk around and take some photos. Both of these places are free to enter and also 24 seven open. But of course, when visiting these two places, be respectful, try and be as gentle as possible and not cause any damage for the farmers because it is very nice of them to let us use their flower fields for our own little photo shoots and stuff. Then there is of course the famous Kökenhof Gardens. Kökenhof is the world's largest flower garden and a very popular place for especially tourists to visit. The price to visit was 18 euros and 50 cents in 2023, but the price might vary from year to year. The exact opening dates also vary a bit from year to year. Now in 2023, it was open from the 23rd of March until the 14th of May. So usually it opens somewhere around the end of March and then goes on until the middle of May. But I would definitely recommend visiting Kökenhof somewhere around mid-April till the end of April to get your money's worth and have the best experience possible. If you go, for example, in the end of March, right when it opens, I don't think all of the flowers will be already blooming by then. Do keep in mind also that the place gets quite crowded and you definitely should buy your tickets in advance. Every spring, Kökenhof has its own bus line, so it's very easy to access. This bus leaves from several different cities, such as Amsterdam, Harlem and Leiden. It is also a very big place, so make sure to reserve enough time for your visits. If you want to pick your own tulips, I would recommend going to Annemiekes Plaktuin or a place called... I'm sorry, it has a difficult name, I need to check. S Pennings and ZN. <laughs> It's a very cute and wholesome activity to do and go and pick your own fresh bouquet of tulips at Annemiekis Plaktuin. It costed 35 cents per tulip, so it is also not very expensive at all. I highly recommend doing it. I enjoyed it very much when I did it. A place called the Tulip Barn is also a great place for especially photo shoots. Here there is a bunch of fun and cute props that you can use for your photos. And there is also a nice little cafe where you can sit and have something to drink and eat. The place does get a bit crowded though. Me and my friends visited it on a sunny Saturday and we were definitely not alone, but we still managed to get some beautiful shots. And the entrance is only 7 euros and 50 cents, so I think it is a very affordable price. In the autumn time, they also have beautiful dahlia and sunflower fields that I also recommend visiting. The Tulperai is one of the cutest cafes I have ever seen. It is a cafe located amongst a beautiful tulip show garden. And when I was there, they also had a really cute pastry that was in the shape of a tulip that was so cute. They also have a shop where they sell different tulip themed souvenirs as well. The cafe and show garden are free to visit. But if you want to go a little bit deeper, I definitely recommend doing their excursion as well. It costs 7 euros and 95 cents and takes one hour. On the excursion, the farmer of the place takes you around some beautiful fields and you get to learn so much about tulips, flower farming, and he also gives you some great gardening tips. As a part of the tour, you also get to take photos at his flower fields that are otherwise off limits to people. The Amsterdam Tulip Experience is also a great place to visit, especially for photo shoots. The entrance cost is 9 euros and 50 cents and the place has a lot to offer. The visit here starts at their museum where you get to learn about the history of tulips. They have a beautiful garden, perfect for photos, a cafe, a little farmer's market. And they even give you a bouquet of five flowers to bring back home with you. So yeah, I definitely recommend visiting this place. If you have a bit more money to splurge, then I would recommend visiting the Fam Flower Farm. The entrance here costs about 40 euros, so it is definitely more expensive than the other spots, but you do get a bit more of an exclusive visit with less people around. However, if you do wanna visit this place, make sure to book it in very good advance because the tickets sell out very quickly as they are very limited. A fun flower themed event that also happens every year and that you shouldn't miss if possible is the Blumen Corso, aka the Flower Parade. This is a parade that starts in Nordwijk and parades through the whole Bollenstreek area basically and then ends up in Harlem. 
Me and my friends went to watch it and saw it from a town called Sassenheim. But don't worry, even if you miss the parade, they keep the flower floats still the next day in Harlem, where you can go and see them as well. The date when it is held varies a bit every year, but this year the parade took place the 22nd of April. It was raining, but that doesn't stop the Dutch or the parade. And yeah, that wraps up this tulip guide. If you have found it useful, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions regarding the tulips or anything else, then please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. I have written and linked all the places that I mentioned in this video down in the description box. So if you want to learn more about them, you can check them out there. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my future videos. I have a lot of exciting videos and trips planned for the near future. So yeah, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.